Okay, ready? On the count of three, we'll jump from the wall. Kiana, are you sure this is safe? What if we miss the air mattress? Guys, chill. We're not even that high up. I've seen people on TV do this. It'll be fun. Good news, when my friends jumped, they landed on the air mattress and were totally fine. Bad news, I missed the air mattress and got injured. Wait, let me start from the beginning. I'm Kiana from North Dakota. And you probably think I'm a moron for doing something so dangerous. But what can I say? Teenagers do stupid things sometimes. Don't pretend like you haven't. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. Luckily, when I got to the hospital, the doctor said I was fine, since I didn't jump from that high up. But I still had to wear an arm and leg cast for three freaking months. When I returned to school, everyone had heard what had happened and showered me with love, saying how relieved they were that I was okay. But then in math class, something strange happened. So so today, we'll be doing exercises 8 and 10 in our workbooks. What about exercise 9, my good ma'am? Are you mocking my accent? Why, of course not, my love. You've got your accent and I've got my accent. To the principal's office, now! I hadn't realized I'd been even talking in a British accent, but I went to the principal and told him what happened. I don't know why she's so angry. Maybe it's her time of the month, if you know what I mean. Kiana, stop with that British accent right now. I'm not doing one. The principal and I fought back and forth for a while before he called my parents. Except I was still doing a British accent when they arrived without knowing it and continued talking British for several days. Eventually, mom and dad took me to a doctor since I was acting so strangely. And to my shock, the doctor told me I developed a brain condition as a result of my injury. It was called foreign accent syndrome, which meant I would always talk like a foreigner now. So I started talking in a British accent all the time. It wasn't a huge deal, but kids at school were confused that I'd completely switched my way of speaking. Most of them thought I was messing around and it was annoying, and some British kids at school always felt I was making fun of them. As time passed, everyone started avoiding me because I made them uncomfortable. So I was stuck having no friends and wanting my normal accent back. One afternoon, I was doing homework in the schoolyard when suddenly someone held out a diamond ring in front of my face. Here, take my promise ring that I spent $10,000 on for my stupid girlfriend. In fact, why don't I date you now instead of her? How about you give it to my sister, who you're apparently in love with? Ugh, not those two. Dean and Brielle were the hottest, most popular kids in school and had been dating on and off since ninth grade. Since they were known for always fighting, I didn't take Dean's offer seriously and walked away. But a week later, someone rang our doorbell one morning and I was shocked to see Brielle standing there. Kiana, right? I need to talk to you about something important. Uh, come in. My ex-boyfriend Dean is a monster. He cheated on me and made out with my sister. And now, I want revenge, and I need your help. Why do you need my help? You and I have barely even spoken before. Look, I know a lot of kids at school think you're weird, but Dean's always found you very attractive. I always catch him staring at you during class, and if he hadn't been with me, he probably would have asked you out. So I was thinking, maybe you could get him to date you for a month. Then you can make a TikTok fake crying and telling everyone that he hurt you and took advantage of you. I don't think anyone would take it seriously if I did it, since we're always fighting about one thing or another. Can you please do this for me? My head was spinning. First of all, did she just say that the most popular guy at school thought I was pretty? Well, if he was a cheating jerk, then maybe it didn't matter. But still, wow. Brielle begged me to help her out and went on and on about how much fun we could have taking Dean down together. Was she implying that we could be friends? I hadn't had a friend in so long. And now I could be BFFs with the school queen bee, who could maybe help me make other friends. I just had to ruin the life of her awful ex-boyfriend. I'm in. That week, Brielle and I found an empty classroom during lunch to go over our mission. Step one, flirt with Dean and let him know you're interested. Smile at him during class, give him a compliment, or do a classic dropping your school books to get his attention. I hadn't flirted with any boy since before my injury, but I was confident I still had game. So when I saw Dean, I walked close to him and threw my textbooks onto the floor. But unfortunately, one of them landed on his foot and he screamed. Ow, ow, my foot is broken. I'm gonna lose a foot. Oh, I'm so sorry. Dang it, I was supposed to get you to ask me out, not murder you. Oh, it's you, Kiana, hot girl from history class who talks with a British accent, even though she's American. Yes, that's me. 
You poor thing. Getting hit with a textbook and having your girlfriend dump you. Actually, our breakup was mutual, so... I can only imagine what it must be like getting dumped, thinking you'll be alone, single and pathetic forever. Um... But lucky for you, I'm gonna let you take me out to dinner. On a date. Really? You can even pick me up in a car and bring me flowers. Especially white roses, please. They're my favourite. But it's my gift to you. Dean immediately said yes, and I was so proud of myself for being so smooth. But unfortunately, my actual date wasn't very enjoyable, because Dean was the most obnoxious guy ever. He complained about everything. The chairs made his butt hurt, the music was too loud, and when he bit into some spicy buffalo wings, he started crying and saying he needed to go to the hospital. <sighs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Of course, because so many people have died eating buffalo wings. Finally, when the date was over, Dean dropped me off in his car. I can't believe I didn't ask you out earlier. Two years wasted with Brielle, when I could have been the boyfriend of this beautiful goddess right here. He was looking at me with stars in his eyes. Oh boy. I told Brielle everything over video chat. This is perfect. You've already got him wrapped around your little finger. In a month, you're gonna tear his heart to shreds like he tore mine. I really did have him wrapped around my finger. Dean texted me as soon as he woke up the next day and sent me like eight different heart emojis. How was he already so into me? When Dean saw me at school on Monday, he came up to me right away holding a stuffed tiger. Okay, babe, hear me out. So for our next date, how about we go to the carnival and you can witness my amazing skee-ball skills. I'll win you a tiger just like this. I knew I'd made a deal with Brielle, but this guy was turning out to be super annoying. Still, I went on three more stupid dates with him, one of which consisted of us cosplaying as MSA characters. We literally went to a restaurant dressed as them, and Dean even suggested reenacting a romantic fight scene. It was so embarrassing. But there was one silver lining. Brielle and I were becoming really good friends. When we weren't scheming or talking about Dean, we hung out at the mall, had sleepovers, and painted each other's nails. One night, Brielle invited me to an exclusive party, but we had to go in separate cars because it would look suspicious if Dean's ex was hanging out with his current girlfriend. At one point during the party, I was hanging out with some of the popular girls near the refreshment table, and they were just going on and on about how lucky I was to be with Dean. <laughs> he is quite lovely and very easy on the eyes, but between us, he's also a bit of a dork. He's obsessed with stuffed animals, cartoon movies, and even owns fuzzy slippers. Trust me, ladies, beneath that gorgeous physique lies the cringiest guy ever. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that you think I'm so cringy. I turned around to see Dean standing behind me with a hurt look. Oh man, what was he doing here? Of course, this was a popular kid's party. He walked off and I felt a little guilty, so I followed him. Dean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Well, all right, I, I did mean it, but you don't have to date me if you don't like me, Kiana. It's not a big deal. Just don't lead me on, because I actually like you. Oh, please. No, you don't. You're just looking for a rebound girlfriend since you broke up with Brielle. Why would a guy like you like an unpopular weirdo like me anyway? Maybe because I don't think you're a weirdo. Maybe because I think your fake accent's adorable, and even though we have different interests, I've had a lot of fun on our dates. That's very sweet. How about we start over? No more crazy, overly romantic dates. We'll just take it slow and get to know each other. Dean seemed to really like that idea, and after our talk, I sort of started enjoying spending time with him. We do homework together and video chat at night, definitely seemed like a sweet guy, which made it all the more confusing why he'd do something like cheat on his girlfriend. One morning, Brielle and I were walking home from the gym when Dean texted me to tell me he was sick with the flu. Poor thing. I should stop by and bring him some soup. But he just said he has the flu. You don't want to get sick. I know, but he's all alone in bed and not able to do anything. I'll wear a mask. Trust me, Kiana, he's a millionaire who has chefs and servants waiting on him hand and foot. What, do you want to spend time with him? No, of course not. I just feel, since I'm his pretend girlfriend, it's weird if I don't check up on him. I quickly went home and made Dean's soup that I brought to him. But when Dean opened the door to his room, my heart did a giant thump. He was shirtless and had the abs of a freaking Roman god. 
you cook me soup? You're the sweetest girlfriend ever. I sat with him while he ate the soup in bed. It tastes perfect. Brielle used to do stuff like this for me when we first started dating, but then we started fighting a lot and she stopped doing nice things for me. Well, I don't think you have a right to complain about Brielle. You're the one who cheated on her and kissed her sister. <gasps> she told me about it. We ran into each other. Okay, fine. I cheated on her. But that's only because we got into a huge argument and in a fit of rage. Brielle started talking about how handsome my best friend was and that she was going to leave me and date him. I thought she was serious, which is why I hit on her sister. But she wasn't serious and that's why we broke up. Right after that, I bought her that diamond promise ring. I guess it was both our faults. We both cared about each other. We just weren't working as a couple anymore. I was speechless as Dean told me all of this, and suddenly, it didn't feel right following through on the plan anymore. And the whole day at school on Monday, I avoided Brielle. But finally, she caught me reading a book in the school garden and asked me what was going on. All right, fine. I needed a bit of space from you. Dean told me the truth about what happened. How you threatened to date his best friend and that there was a misunderstanding. I know that's no excuse for what he did, but your whole revenge plan is over the top and I'm not following through with it. Okay, whatever. It was over the top and immature, I get it. So just break up with Dean now and don't talk to him anymore. What, I'm not allowed to talk to him now? Why would you want to? He's my ex-boyfriend. You don't have feelings for him or anything, right? I mean, I have spent a lot of time with him, so it'd be weird for us not to talk. But why do you care? Do you still have feelings for him? Brielle got really quiet, and that's when it hit me. Of course she still loved him. He'd been her freaking boyfriend for two years. And worst of all, I could feel myself developing feelings for Dean too. There was only one thing I could do, break up over text and never talk to the guy again. But as soon as I sent the message, Dean started calling and blowing up my phone. And 20 minutes later, I heard a knock at my bedroom window. Three guesses who had climbed onto my balcony. Kiana, I don't understand this. Why are you breaking up with me suddenly? Because I was never supposed to date you. Before I could stop myself, I ended up telling Dean all about my plan with Brielle, and he was stunned. Okay, that is officially the most messed up thing Brielle has ever done. And I can't believe you'd agree to something like this. What kind of sick person are you? I just, I... What? I, I wanted to make a friend. Wait, did I just talk in my regular voice? The doctors had said foreign accent syndrome could go away with time, but that was the first time I'd spoken in an American accent since the incident. I immediately ran downstairs to tell my parents what had happened, completely forgetting about the drama with Dean and Brielle. My parents and I jumped up and down and cheered, while Dean just stood there staring at me. He was probably thinking what a freak I was, so that probably meant he was over me. Sure seems like it anyway. He avoided both me and Brielle at school. Brielle was happy for me about my recovery, and we both kind of pretended like the Dean drama never happened. But one day, she came over and dropped a bombshell on me. She was leaving the city and moving hours away. I was heartbroken. No, this is a good thing. Now you can be the most popular girl at school and date Dean. I talked with him the other day. He wants to be with you, Kiana. He's moved on from me. So if you guys want to date, go for it. But how would that make you feel? Don't you still love him? Yeah, I do. And it will hurt knowing he chose you over me. But I want you to be happy, Kiana. I know our friendship started with just you doing me a favor, but I've grown to care about you. You were there for me at one of the hardest times in my life. Suddenly, I saw a car pull up in the driveway, and it was Dean. He was coming to see me probably to profess his love for me. He got out of the car, and he looked so handsome in the sunlight. I was ready to run into his arms and kiss him, but I didn't. I couldn't hurt my best friend like that. That's why I sent Dean home and told him I wasn't interested. Kiana, you don't have to do this. I'll get over my pain. You have my blessing to be with him. I know, and maybe I will one day, when you are over him. But I care about you more than him. You were there for me during the hardest time of my life. Thank you. I'm gonna miss you so much, girl. I'm gonna miss you too. Good luck, Brielle.